1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of a man which is in him? Even so, the things of Yahweh knoweth no man, but the spirit of Yahweh. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of Yahweh, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Yahweh which things also we speak not in the words in which man's wisdom teacheth, but the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. I like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakahakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And peace and salutation unto the hopeful elect. This is the brother Bakwasha. And I want to go into the MO to the T to the B. And really some of the systems that we've talked about in times past, recent times past, as far as the infrastructure as far as the hardware, which obviously we know is the karagma, but also now going into the propaganda, going into Esau's agenda of gradualism and really how he's using technology as a shoehorn of merging man with machine and making it a common advertisement as a, a means of uh, security, as a means of convenience, and all of these things are lies, okay? And so I ran across uh, this article. I have really this article, and I have uh, some press clipping uh, from the house that is white, and uh, Lord will, this uh, lesson will be edifying for the elect. But we're just basically going to go into, we're going to look at the, the manufacturing of these uh, C-HIPs, and we're going to look at the funding of the C-HIPs. And all of this is going to lead to, obviously, Esau's agenda in his enterprise and what he thinks is going to happen, which is him implanting devices that are digital underneath the skin and being able to track people as cattle and determine whether or not they have any existence in his wicked society. And so the reason why I wanted to go into first Corinthians, the second chapter, and I'm going to start at verse 12 again. It says, now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of Yahweh, that we might that we might know the things that are freely given unto us. And the MO to the T to the B is something that was given unto the prophets of the Lord in times past, which is why the scripture says that the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets. Because it's spiritual, seeing these things, although the common everyday Babylonian is seeing these things. They're seeing it from the eyes of this is advantageous. Whereas the prophets of the Lord are seeing it through the the lens and the eyes of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, which is, this is detrimental. Okay. And this is ultimately going to lead to two thirds of our people being destroyed. Okay. Because they're going to make a decision. Okay. Which is really rebellion against Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. But that's the reason why, Shatan, okay, Esau, the so-called white man who embodies that spirit actually is deceiving the world to believe that his technology is actually something that is beneficial. So uh, verse 13 says, which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teach it because man's wisdom, technology and knowledge and all of these uh, uh, artificial intelligence systems, all of this is is man's wisdom. Whereas we're speaking the wisdom of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai says, 
but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, meaning the wisdom and, and the Holy Spirit, all of those are the reasons why we can see that the karagma is the M-O to the T to the B, and which Esau is utilizing to beguile the people into another deeper form of slavery and ultimately destruction, okay? It says, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth comparing spiritual things with spiritual, okay? And so obviously the Holy Scriptures are spiritual uh, volume, okay? Because it embodies the spirit of Yahweh Shai. And so just wanted to kind of go into that because these things are spiritual. These things are not of man. These things are not of, of the world or the spirit of the world, which is why the prophets of Yahweh Shimei Shai have been sent forth to give this word, okay, and to give warning to the hopeful elect specifically. So we're going to get into, uh, like I said, two of these articles, and Lord will, it'll be edifying for the elect. And I'm going to uh, just hit a couple of quick highlights. Lord willing, you brothers can download this uh, article or this PDF and go back and read it in its entirety uh, just because there's so much information and so limited of time to cover it. But it says the European payments landscape in 2030. And so I just did a quick search on the word there, uh, implants. Okay. But let's read the first statement here. It says implants, embedded ethics, in a post-payments world, can technology help create a more equitable future for all? And so this is the positioning or the question that Esau is posing to the world to have them buy into the system, which is, can equality be established through using implants? And we know through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiel Shah, the answer is absolutely not, because there's no such thing as equality. There will not be equality. There's no, there's no equality now. There will be no equality in the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemiel Shah. So that's just another sorcery word that Esau uses. But let's jump down and see what else is in this article. Because like I said, I'm just going to peruse it. It's not going to be anything I'm going to get in, too in depth. But let's look at the, and I want brothers to kind of look at this word right here. Okay, and do some research on it. I'm not even going to say it, but I believe this word and this image, okay, is a part of the agenda as well. Okay, um, let's see here. Yeah, let's read a little bit of this. Okay, it says the year 2030 may sound like science fiction, but it is surprisingly close at hand. A lot can happen in 10 years, especially in payments, okay? And why do we want to focus on payments? Because in Revelation, the 13th chapter, it talks about that no man can buy or sell, okay? So the payments have to be tied to this MO to the T to the B, which is the reason why it's the, the RFID C hip, okay? The Karagma. It says C19, Consolidated years of behavioral change in a few short months, hugely accelerating the shift to digital. Okay, once again, another thing that has to be implanted that's digital that is going to cause all, okay, rich and poor, free and bond, okay, to be restricted from the buying of selling or the buying and selling. Uh, it says, according to World Payments, 2020, 38% of people started to use a new payment provider during the periods of lockdown in the UK. Uh, there are 1.105 million contactless card transactions in May 2020, 53% more than in 2019. As digital payments become increasingly ubiquitous, the variety of ways we can pay for goods and services electronically are evolving and multiplying. Now, why are they evolving and multiplying? They're evolving and multiplying because this is a tool of the wicked to beguile the people, to have them believe that this is something that's beneficial. Oh, evolution, evolving. We're moving on to something better. Well, something better is not 
what Esau is really providing. He's actually providing something worse. Matter of fact, let's grab this real quick. This is uh, this is Isaiah chapter five, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter, okay? And really, this is what Esau is doing. He's putting darkness for light, okay? He's saying that, oh, well, we're evolving. This is now going to be something better. Electronically, you have cashless payments. And he's using the C-19 scenario as a reason why we know we no longer need cash, okay? All of these things are interwoven together. It says, well, actually, let's read that one more time. Isaiah 5, verse 20, 20, woe to them that call evil good and good evil, okay? Basically taking everything that Yahweh Shemiah Shai has uh, instructed us through the Holy Scriptures to do, the Holy Spirit, making that bad and then exalting his technology, his science, his, uh, his evolution, okay, as something that's good when really that's evil, that's a man-made construct, okay? Just like race, just like um, social norms, okay? All of these things are snares and traps, just like this karagma is in this whole agenda that's being pushed, okay? So let's read the, the next kind of uh, paragraph here. It says, so how will this progress in, how will this progress in the next 10 years? Cryptocurrency, biometric, implants and machine driven payments are all debated at length in the media but how much of this is hyperbole what would be the next big thing to answer these questions and more this this company right here partnered with this company here an independent consultancy specializing in payments to conduct a series of workshops with industry leaders Facilitated by acclaimed author, the three workshops were attended by a cross-section of global industry commentators. This ranged from founders from fintechs, okay, fintechs, uh, that abbreviation is for financial technology, such as uh, this company, founder and CEO at this company, and visionaries like this person, uh, founder of this company. And it says, the author of the rise of techno socialism. And I'm sure if we get into this word, that's a whole nother rabbit hole. But anyway, I just wanted to cover how all of these things are being placed as uh, um, light, okay? When really it's darkness. And I got a quick scripture to back that up. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. It says, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Meaning that the things in which he's going to promote, they're going to come off as something that is beneficial to the carnal mind which is why the spiritual discerneth all things spiritual, okay? Which is why the Holy Spirit has given us these indicators of what Esau, the so-called white man, is doing because he's now being revealed, okay? The things that were once uh, shown as a great way for people to communicate better and cell phones and a digital world and 5g and the internet of things and the internet of people and cashless society all of that is being perceived as light when really that's darkness okay because it's leading more and more into a captivity state in which now esau ultimately has full control over the people not just the money okay but the actual um the actual from birth to death from the from the from the cradle to the grave okay and it's all being systemized all right so i just wanted to go into that real quick because 
him transforming himself into an angel of light shows that the way in which is going to be shown in these reports and cryptocurrency and biometrics and oh well you can help your grandmother to save her eye or she fell and broke her leg now we can implant this nanotechnology along with this karagma and all of these are going to be unjustified forms of light to the unwise but to the spiritual okay all of this is just another form of esau uh, um and, and placing his wickedness into Yahweh Shem Yahweh's people. Okay. So I just wanted to kind of go into that real quick because these things can appear alluring to the common man, but to the, to the spiritual man, we know that these are just another form of a snare. Okay. Just like you get just, just like you get your cell phone, right. And your cell phone has backdoor channels to where all of your data is now going into a cloud-based system, in which that cloud-based system is now uh, uh, sending you advertisements, okay, to your cell phone or to your laptop, or it's constantly listening to everything in which you're saying, and then taking a taking a mapping of that, and then now putting it back in front of your face, and you're thinking, oh, okay, man, I, I do want that, but now it's subliminal, okay? Esau is now using this technology as a form of uh, a centurion. Okay. So, and, and, and he's going to do more than that as far as even with the, uh, with the jab. Okay. So um, let's, let's see what else is on in this article as far as implants. Yeah. So let's read a little bit of this real quick. It says, combining these, the report explores how technology will shape our payments future. Okay, notice the, the emphasis is on payments. Okay, part two, will the next generation be a force for positive change in the cashless future? Because that is a part of the agenda. No cash. Okay, because now this is a part of the great reset. So like it in the great reset is basically Esau absolving himself from any type of financial debt and now just resetting everything from basically from start and then now utilizing this digital uh, this digital universe as a means of now tracking everything about everyone. OK, and him now having, quote unquote, global jurisdiction. OK. Whereas before it was isolated states, countries, the, the, the NATO and the EU, see that 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 B system in itself is, is now becoming uh, less analog and more digital. OK. And part three says regulation must stop playing catch up. So all of this is leading to where we already know. So I want to read these five key findings from the report and then uh, we'll, we'll wrap up with some scriptures. Matter of fact, let's grab this real quick. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 it says, let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first okay, in which we fell away you know, from Yahweh by Shemi Abishai 70 AD. Okay. From that point since it says, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. And that is exactly what Satan is utilizing Esau, the man of sin. Okay. As because this technology is being shown as light, but as Esau is showing it as light, Yahweh by Shimei Shai is revealing him. Okay. And also revealing that this agenda is going to lead to death. That's what the son of perdition is. As a matter of fact, let's read verse four. Who opposed it and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he as God sit in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. And that's what this whole systematic approach it is, is for him to rule over all people as if he's God. 
but utilizing technology as his means of doing so. Okay. Five key findings from this report. 51% of consumers surveyed say they would consider using a C-hip implant in their hand to pay provided it hits certain criteria. Now, all I'm going to say about this report is these numbers can be very skewed. And the reason why they can be very skewed because the uh, sample size or the data size of people could very well be people that are already pro technology. So of course they're going to want this type of scenario. I'm just bringing this into light because I have a background in statistics. And so these numbers can be, be very skewed. You know, you can ask a hundred, you know, fourth graders and that be the, the sample size from consumers. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just, this is how Esau utilizes uh, darkness for light. Okay. Because common people, they listen to the news. They say, oh, well, scientists say, and they just wholeheartedly believe it. Real, not realizing that's actually darkness instead of light. Okay. Just wanted to hit that quick point. 83% of consumers surveyed feel the decline of cash will exclude the most at risk at, in society. Hold on. Let me read that again. 83% of consumers surveyed feel the decline of cash will exclude those most at risk in society. Who's the most at risk in society? Why would they be excluded? Exactly. Another form of depopulation, another form of eugenics. Okay. 75% of surveyed respondents age. See, now they're putting the age on it. See, I'm telling you, man, these devils, man. 75% um, of surveyed respondents aged 65 plus have felt pressure to ditch cash due to places only taking card contactless significantly higher than the 50% average. Okay. Now, why are companies doing this? Because it's all in concert. It's all an orchestrated demolition. Okay. Because these places that are not taking cash any longer are incentivized to do so. Okay. And I'm going to go into this other article, but like I said, I just wanted to hit a couple of highlights. 38% of consumers survey who know young people that don't often use cash are concerned they don't understand the value of cash. <laughs> well, Esau is the devil, man. <laughs> and see, this is the generation Y, the generation uh, uh, Z, you know, the generations millennials and all the rest of that that were born into the internet, okay? that didn't, that were not before the internet. And I'm not, you know, taking slights at anybody. I'm just using this because this is what Esau is going to use to justify the people that haven't had to use cash because they have, you know, the, um, you know, Apple pay and Google pay. So they grew up utilizing these services instead of utilizing cash. And this is going to be a justification of why, well, or why are we even using cash? Okay. 31% of 18 to 24 year olds surveyed would be comfortable with AI making automated decisions on their behalf to choose the most ethical way to pay. And who's created the AI? Esau. So, like I said, and this goes back to that word here, this right here. Okay. Not just socialism. Techno socialism, essentially AI now ruling your life. So anyway, the, hey, that, that's why the man sin is being revealed, man. Um, let's bring this out real quick. This is Psalms fifty-two and seven. It says, "Lo, this is the man," because we talked about the man of sin. Okay, back in Second Thessalonians two and three, it says, "And the man of sin being revealed." Okay. Now we're going to get into another characteristic of the man of sin. Okay. This is uh, Psalms 52 and 7. It says, Lo, 
This is the man that made Yahweh not, not his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthened himself in his wickedness. Okay. And that's exactly what Esau is doing. He's doubling down on his Karagma beast system. And he's utilizing these uh, surveys and reports, which are basically, you know, uh, um, manufactured, okay, uh, data to to support the agenda of people being ushered into this great reset, okay. So, um, and that's him strengthening himself in his wickedness, okay. Um, let's bring out, let me see if there's anything else. Cause that was the third point. Yeah. Cause basically this is just going to reemphasize. No, actually, let me read a little bit of this. This is, uh, actually, I think we can just read this part. Yeah. Yeah. Let's read this. Yeah. Cause I think this is different than what we just read. So lock it brothers. Let me jump back up here real quick. So this is 83% of survey respondents. Now, notice it says survey respondents. It doesn't say consumers now, okay? Anybody can be a survey respondent, okay? Especially if you're trying to target a demographic to generate a certain number, okay? 83% of survey respondents feel a mi micro will make them feel like they're in a sci-fi movie. Vain. 20% of survey respondents simply said, yes, they would be comfortable using this payment method. 20%, okay? 23% of survey respondents would use a micro if it was proven to be medically safe. And see, what Esau is gonna do is he's gonna take these numbers this year, and then next year, He's going to bump the, these numbers up to 30%. Okay. And then this is going to be 90%. And then this is going to be 40%. Okay. Because now this justifies, oh, well, those that are are uh, straddling the fence, they're going to see, oh, well, well, everyone's doing this. See, it's that whole sheep herding mentality. Okay. Uh, there's another term for it. Um, So lucky it'd have to come back to me. Eight percent of survey respondents said they would be comfortable using a C hip, but only if privacy measures were watertight. <laughs> Fifty-one percent. Oh, see, now we're at consumers. Okay, survey respondents, survey respondents, survey respondents, survey respondents. Fifty-one percent of consumers said they would consider using a C hip implanted in their hand to pay. See what I'm saying? Now we're back at surveyor respondents. 48% of survey respondents feel a micro would be useful if they were caught without cash or card, okay? So, so once again, all of these things are just giving unjustified ways for people to <clears throat> accept this darkness for light, okay? This is... Uh, So like, I didn't even bring it out. Let's go ahead and bring it out. This is uh, Isaiah <clears throat> chapter 32. And yeah, this is uh, Isaiah 32 and six for the vile person will speak villainy and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter error error against the Lord to make empty the soul of the hungry and he will cause the, the drink of the thirsty to fail. Okay. So not only removing, okay, our identity, the truth, who we are as a people, okay, the names of Yahweh, by Shimei, I was shy, but now the, the, the means by which, uh, food, drink, okay, can actually be uh, accepted or rendered will now be restricted through this seed, okay? And, and these are the things that Esau is literally doing. He's restricting 
all the resources and now putting forth the technology in which you have to accept, okay? Even though the elect are gonna reject it by means, and, and now that is the only means by which you can access any resources, okay? This is what a devil does, okay? It's hypocrisy, okay? Getting you to buy in to the system and he's telling you, oh, well, this is beneficial, but he's going to restrict it. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it on that one. Now let's get to this article here and I'm going to briefly cover it. Um, oh, there was another article I wanted to go into. Oh yeah, it's, it's the next one. So, um, matter of fact, you brothers just go back and read this one. Um, because it's just a lot of data and, uh, I want to get to this last article, but it's, it's, it's going to show you matter of fact, we can look up this word here and then we can read it. And then, like I said, I'll, I'll leave the link because I think that this is an audio. You can play it as well. You can hear it, it says the, the act. Okay, the C Hips and Science Act. Here's what's in it. Okay, October 4th, 2022. The act invests 280 billion to bolster semiconductor capacity, catalyzed research and development, and create regional high tech hubs and a bigger, more inclusive STEM workforce. Okay. Now, break that down. I'm going to go into this word here, semiconductor. Okay, I already have it pulled up. A semiconductor is a material which has an electrical conductivity value falling between that of a conductor such as copper and an insulator such as glass. It's resistivity falls as its temperature rises metals behave in the opposite way now what are the images of a semiconductor okay what does this look like this looks like a c-hip okay why are c-hips oh here we go all of these are versions of semiconductors okay this is the technology Okay, why is this technology being ushered in? Why is $280 billion going to bolster this, this act? Well, let's look this up. And then I'm gonna wrap up on this. This is from, as you can tell, okay, the house that's white. Fact sheet, CHIPS and Science Act will lower cost, create jobs, strengthen supply chains and counter China. All right. Now, the one thing I wanted to look up in this article is just dollar value. As I talked about earlier, one is the propaganda. Okay. The, the false advertisement. Okay. The darkness for light. Okay. And then on the back end is the finances, which is why these FinTech scenarios because there has to be an exchange that's where the finances come in that's why so much money is being invested in the technology because the technology has to be sound this is not so lucky this is not anything that can be done over okay this has to be sufficient which is why all of these systems of the 5g and the, all of that had to be in place along with the cloud-based systems okay all of that the data centers okay all of this cloud technology to where and the devices that people have okay pushing those devices in the in the hands of people to where now they become enamored with them okay get them on these social media platforms okay to where now they live vicariously through these sigils okay So let's look at the funding. 
because that's all I'm going to cover in this article. You brothers can go back and read it. Okay, spurred by the passage of the CHIPS and Science Act of 2022, this week companies have announced nearly 50 billion in additional investments in American semiconductor semiconductor manufacturing, bringing total business investments to nearly one point. I mean, it's like it, 150 billion since Biden. Okay, this company is announcing 40 billion. To invest in memory C hips, okay, for computers. All right, yeah, let's just say it's for computers. These companies, 4.2 billion for manufacturing C hips, okay. Let's look at more. Oh, that was it. Okay, well, anyway, point being here is all of this. Mu- okay, here we go. I was like, it says 12. Um, Let's see here. There we go. Con. It says um, the CHIP and Science Act provides $52 billion for research and development, manufacturing, and workforce development. This includes $39 billion for manufacturing incentives, $2 billion for the legacy okay, of the CHIPs and automobiles and defense systems. 13.2 billion in R&D, 500 million to provide for international information communications, technology security and semiconductor supply chain activities, okay? To get these things rolling out, okay? You see the uh, warp speed that was used was was a uh, a system of logistics to see how well the logistics work internationally, okay? To roll out any new product and the uh, the time that it takes to get from manufacturer to consumer, okay? That's what this money is going for. That's why there's a manufacturing incentive. There's a timeline, there's a date, okay? And all of this is, is just wickedness. I just wanted to go into it because it's interesting to me because when you see where the money comes from and what it's going to, it also just leads right back to the Caracla. Okay. Um, promote U.S. innovation and wireless supply chains. Okay. We already know what that is. We've talked about that. $1.5 billion for promoting and deploying wireless technology that uses open and interoperable radio access networks. Okay. There's two more here. Uh, Catalyze regional economic growth and development. The CHIPS and Science Act authorizes $10 billion to invest in regional innovation and technology hubs across the country, bringing together state and local governments, institutions of higher education, labor unions, businesses, and community-based organizations to create regional partnerships to to develop technology, innovation, and manufacturing sectors. Okay, this, I mean this is this is almost a trillion dollars for these semiconductors. Okay, it also authorizes one billion uh, recompete pilot program at the Department of X Y Z to alleviate persistent economic distress and support long-term comprehensive economic development and job creation in the most distressed communities. Okay. So once again, I just wanted to go into that because all of this has already been invested and what is it leading to? Okay. Um, Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Let's go back to 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first and that man of sin, the son of perdition, son of death and destruction. Why does it say death and destruction? Because it says, and cause it that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Okay. 
the justification of not abiding by Esau's narrative and his network of wickedness is death. Okay. But everyone's not going to see that until it's too late. Okay. Except for the prophets of the Lord, because the prophets of the Lord are viewing things spiritually. Okay. Verse 16. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell. Everything we've been talking about is payments, payments for 2030. What are those payments going to look like? What is the evolution? How is my cryptocurrency going to work? How is my biometrics going to work? How is my entry into my home going to work? How am I going to... Uh, uh, log into my whatever accounts. How can I get food? Okay. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay. So just wanted to go into that real quick through the spirit because we know that's the Karagma. Matter of fact, I'll read 18 since we're here. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, once again, the man of sin, okay? We're talking about a man, okay? But that's coming in the spirit of uh, Shatan, okay? It says, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and six, all right? This is Psalm 94 and 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frame it mischief by a law? Okay. That's exactly what Esau is doing. He's he's going to make these things completely mandatory. Okay. And this is a really good article. I'm uh, Lord Will, I'm going to go back and read it. Just because it's going to show you all of the quote unquote unjustified ways that Esau is going to push this agenda. And, and basically, it's going to be peer pressure. Okay, it's gonna say, oh well, everybody's doing this. Look, I'm gonna use the kids. Okay, it's gonna be wicked. It is it, well, it's already wicked. Okay, it says that frame it mischief by law. Okay, it's gonna make it mandatory because scripture says, and cause it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell. That's a law. Okay. That's, that's going to be mandatory. All right. Let's jump down to verse 23. It says, And he shall bring upon them, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, their own iniquity, and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord, our power, shall cut them off. Okay. So they're going to try to fulfill all of this. You know, like I said, all of this data, when you go back and you read it, let me zoom in here a little bit. Look at that. Boosting. Oh, man. I got to read this real quick. Boosting national security and 5G supply chains. The CHIPS Act allocates $2 billion to the DOD to fund microelectronics research fabrication and workforce training. An additional $500 million goes to the U.S. Department of State to coordinate with foreign government partners on semiconductor supply chain security and 1.5 billion funds to the U.S. Telecommunications Act of 2020, which aims to enhance competitiveness of software and hardware supply chains of open radio access network 5G networks. Okay. Like I said, hey, all of this information, it's going to sh clearly show what's really going on, okay? Look at these companies, all right? And then the last part here is uh, coming from the, the, the house that's white and why these bills are being passed, okay? But y'all by Shemir Al Shai is gonna cut all this off, man, okay? Y'all by Shemir Al Shai is gonna cut all this off, man. But I just wanted to show, it says, verse uh, Psalms 94 and 23, and he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord our power shall cut them off. Okay. And this is uh, Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Okay. And that's that's what they're doing. They're, they're working their way 
into utilizing the power of lies, the power of deception, the power of of uh, finances, okay, the power of witchcraft to now um, to now bring about uh, his ultimate agenda, okay, which is the mo to the t to the b. So, uh, just wanted to go into that real quick, and like I said, you know, don't don't be surprised by this image here, okay. Because this this is going to be the image that's going to be used against the whole world, okay? To have people buy into what's really Esau's agenda. This is this is the puppet that's going to be used, okay? To to beguile the people. So, just want to go into that real quick, Lord will. It was edifying. Till the next time, I'm saying, Shalom. <laughs>